This is not what I was expecting when I woke up this morning to have for breakfast. Tacos. Originating in Mexico, they're one of the most beloved foods in North America. When you first visit the city, you'll find there are taquerias everywhere. Places where you can get delicious tacos, but it's not like tacos in the USA. If you thought tacos here would be stuffed with the usual chicken, cheese, and sour cream. Do you think that's spicy? Yes. Prepare to have your mind exploded. You ready? I'm born ready for tacos. It's not brisket. Today I'm on a mission to find the most iconic. He's a loco. Utterly bizarre. We're literally gonna be eating a giant cow eyeball. And outstandingly delicious tacos you'll find in Mexico or anywhere else. Very happy. Very happy. In tiny kitchens pushing out big flavors. It's so very good. Using taco fillings you've never seen before. And it all starts now. I'm at El Borrego Guido. In a city with literally thousands of taco joints, this place stands out. The morning is just beginning and I discovered this amazing meaty treasure right here. This is Pastor. Three feet of pork, it's so thick, it's like one of the rock's thighs. Um, but we are not having this. Oh no, I'm starting with... Yes, that is an entire cow head. And it turns out this isn't a rare sight for tacadillas in this city. The head meat is some of the best meat you could fill your taco with. Today we're starting our taco breakfast with this, our main ingredient. These taco dealers have been around since 1969. You got it? Oh, oh, he just pulled out like six teeth. This is like Hannibal Lecter's dream if he was a cow. Here you can eat inside or in the comfort of your own car in the parking lot. It's already been boiling for a good five, six hours, so it's really soft. Oh yes, that's like the temple right there. When this place gets popping, they have up to 65 staff filling orders and satisfying cravings. This does not look like a cow to me. I'm telling you, if scientists dug this up, they would say it was a dinosaur. All right, he breaks the jar. That could be a paperweight. That took like five minutes. He just took all the skin off of this cow head. This is not what I was expecting when I woke up this morning to have for breakfast. Cow head tacos, let's go. The head is cut into smaller, more manageable, less identifiable chunks. Then it's steamed on this flat top so it stays warm. When you come here, you can ask for a certain part of the face that you want in your taco. That is cheek meat. This is the eyeballs. I don't know if there's bones here or not. Ear, maybe behind the ear. And now, the weirdest breakfast I've had in a while. Cow head tacos. Take that chunk of head meat we saw earlier, chop it into little pieces, and toss the meat onto a small corn tortilla. We have some herbs here, some onion too, salsa verde going on top, boom, that is it. Look at this little masterpiece, guys. This is head meat, this is the good stuff. I'm gonna find a place to sit down and introduce you to today's eating partner. Let's go. Joining the show, Vladimir, a Mexican food YouTuber with abundant food knowledge, passion, and storage capacity. I'm very hungry, and I need to eat muchos tacos. Yeah, that means a lot of tacos. These are tiny little tacos, right? Yes, it's just a little, but just uh, more delicious. Cheers. Salud. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that's very delicious. Oh, my nose. Cheers. The meat's kind of oily and heavy, but then it's balanced out with that salsa verde. A little bit spicy. Is that spicy for you? Low spicy. For us, it's a low spicy. For you guys, it might be hell. What I love is this tiny tortilla. So you're not gonna get full. You can have like multiple taco experiences. ¿Cómo se puede decir vasto mucho? He says, even though it's little, it is vast. Are you kind of like a poet? They do the double tortilla. You have reinforcement, but it's still very soft. The way he's made it, it's steamed up with all that meat. I love it. Oh. What do you think about? Oh, I just said what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a little bit of a language gap, but there's one thing that brings us together. Food. Oh, yeah. This is the first taco of the day, but we have one more on the way right now. Tacos de cachete, or beef cheek tacos. Renowned tender cheek meat is chopped to bits and tossed on a double stack of corn tortillas to make sure it doesn't fall apart under the weight of all that meat. Add herbs, onions, and an extra flavorful dose of salsa verde. Here's the thing, this looks exactly the same. My question is, are we gonna be able to taste a difference? Nice, super juicy, fatty, succulent meat inside. Similar flavors, but definitely a different texture. This is more spicy. I feel like it's the same spicy. It's the same salsa. ¿Cómo puedo decir este, Gabo? Este, yo siento que esta está más picante que la anterior. Bueno, ya dije que esta es más spicy, but. You said that in English. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect way to take your taco. Check oh, this out. He's a real taco expert, this guy. Ooh. 
I could watch you eat tacos all day. He gives it a pinch in the back. Exactly. And the posterior part, you have some meat and you eat it. Okay, he threw me for a loop. He goes, the last part right here, you eat it. Los Coquivos. Whether you're happy, sad, sober, drunk, or hungover, this place will make your life better. This very tiny, closet-sized taqueria often has folks lined up around the block. Senor Alberto. Hola. Hola. Check out this place. First of all, this big old pot of boiling meat, tons of different beef cuts in here. What's remarkable about this is this is lard, just straight lard that everything here is boiling inside of. The menu here is long. If you're confused, point and hope for the best. As for me, I'm going with this. This is a rare look we're about to get. Boom, okay, look at that. It's a half a cow head. This half a head has been boiled for an hour with onion, garlic, and salt. Here, they're utilizing the cow's eyes and surrounding tissue. Yes, this is a real thing on the menu here, and folks love it. Ojo. Ojo, that's how you say eye. I just learned that. So now he's cutting the eye out of here. I mean, we're literally gonna be eating a giant cow eyeball. It's huge. Right here, this part, it's everything around the eyeball of the cow. It looks pretty gnarly. It's already been boiled for a long time. So the collagen, everything should have rendered down a bit. And now he's gonna cut it up so we can actually put it inside the taco. So he's going right down the middle. He's pulling something out. Que es esto? Oh, this. He said it is, uh, it's the eyeball. Puedo comer? No, it's not. He's scoring it to create more surface area, so now when it steams, it's gonna warm up so much faster than being one big solid piece of meat. Now he's breaking it apart like an accordion or like when you do paper mache in elementary school, and that one is gonna steam for a little bit. Now it's taco time. He dips the tortilla in this lard and then he throws it on the flat top. That's gonna get nice, warm, and soft. This is the steamed eyeball meat. All that's getting chopped up. I'm gonna say my first cow eye taco right here. The eye meat is topped with onions, then your choice of sauce. I'm taking Vlad's recommendation, guacamole with habanero. Okay, he's scared for me. I think because of my complexion, he thinks I can't handle it. I can't handle it. How do you like eyes? Is eye delicious? All of the head, eyes, cheeks, mouth. It's very delicious. Cool. All right. Well, I got you lime this time. Oh, yeah. In the tacos, is indispensable. What's that mean? Indispensable. Uh... Oh, indispensable. We must have lime. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. These look awesome. All right, let's go for it. Oh, I love the lime. And this one's especially fatty, so it really needs lime. In Mexico, we say provecho. 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 Mmm. Mm. This is so fantastic. It's served hot on the street in the world's smallest taqueria. What is your favorite part of the head? I really like cow tongue. They have tongue here, right? This is a cow tongue. Soon, it's gonna be a taco. First, they clean the tongue and boil it with onion, garlic, and salt in this compact secret cooking compartment. Go watch eight episodes of Friends, and when you return, the tongue will be ready. Cut it into thick slices and slap that on a tortilla with onion and more spicy green guac. This cow every day was like, oh, I freaking love grass. With these very taste buds right here. Lime it up, boom. Provecho. Provechito. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's like a beef roast. You can just feel the fibers kind of break apart as you're eating it. It's so very good. It's got some spice. It's an explosion of flavor. I love it. Mm. Mm. It's big, bold, tender, juicy, fatty, delicious. Taco Bell, get on your game, man. Oh, look at this. Boiled beef tongue. Final bite. Final bite. Yeah. One of a kind. These are great tacos. So great. We're only about halfway through the day. We have so many more to go. You got space? Check this out. <laughs> Please, come on for more tacos. Another location, another variety of tacos. Come with me this way. I'm at Tacadilla El Torito, a family-run Tacadilla that's been here for 64 years. This gentleman is one of the grandchildren of the original founder. This is Hector. Hola. Hola. Here you can find their classic Taco El Pastor, but their signature dishes are, wait for it, intestine tacos. They sell over 4,000 a week. I'm going to experience that soon. But first, another signature creation, the brisket taco. 
They clean and cut the brisket into chunks. Then it's tossed in this very unusual pan to cook with onion, garlic, and salt for about an hour. This is just so much brisket. All around the sides, the pan is a little bit lower, and that's where the meat is hanging out, raising in its own juices. When it's done, it's done and ready to eat. Tres taco de brisket. Or tacos de brisket. Yeah, these are gonna be doubled up tortillas. So he puts it right on that dome. It's gonna soften this up a little bit. Oh, that looks nice. Boom, to the cutting station. Here, getting a little bit of grease everywhere. Oh, I can taste it now. Mmm, wow. That is so well seasoned. It's certainly no Texas brisket. It's a little chewy. That's why he's gonna chop it into little tiny pieces. But the flavors are outstanding. Chopping away. Hector, it's going wild. He's a loco. He's crazy. He's slightly annoyed. Oh, he puts it in the shell and he puts it back over here on the iron dome. Meat down. This is the first time I've seen this today. Boom. So every time you order this, you're getting it cut straight from the brisket. Um, yes, everything. All right, we've got some herbs going on there. A little bit of onion and salsa roja. And that is a beautiful plate of brisket taco. What is this meat in Spanish? Suadeno. It means brisket. First, limon. Chula. This is gonna be awesome. See this taco, it's more biggest than another places. It's really big, it is full of meat. Chalupa. What do you say? Provecho. 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 Whoa, so beefy, so full of life and flavor. The principal difference that the brisket in USA, it's not in barbecue. I just spent recently a lot of time in Texas where we had smoked brisket, which is very, very soft. This is cooked much faster. Because of that, it's a little tougher, but they cut it so much that it feels soft enough. The taste is delicious. Beyond and the that. salsa is not very spicy. Not very, oh, yeah, it's not that spicy. I thought it was spicy. I have heartburn right now. <laughs> I need a Pepsi AC. This has two tortillas. What do you prefer? Do you like one tortilla or dos tortillas? The fat people, the gordillas, Ditos like me <laughs> prefer two tortillas because we eat more. More food. And check this: if tortilla broke, all this in the taco because two tortillas. So that's the brisket. We do have one more taco here. You ready? I am born ready for tacos. It's not brisket. Right here, a type of meat you don't usually see in a taco, at least not in the USA. That's right. We had brisket, and what goes better with brisket than cow intestines? Step one, clean the intestines for obvious reasons. Next, add them to a pot with salt, onions, and black pepper, and cook for one hour. Transfer the cooked intestines over to this here pan, where it continues cooking in its own intestinal juices. Right here, a giant mound of cow intestines that have been kind of grazing, almost frying in their own oils. I'm gonna put my pesos on this being absolutely delicious. Hector, order me up some intestine tacos, please. As orders come in, Grab and chop a cluster of intestines. Slab tortillas onto the dome for some heat. Bring it back and fill it with intestines, herbs, onions, and salsa. You like intestines. I love it. Take just a little. Okay, we're just gonna go straight gonna intestine. It. Oh, please be good. It's crunchy. Oh, oily, crunchy, a little chewy too. Good. good flavor. Good flavor too. Whoa, I like that. Oh, I'm gonna hit that with the lime. Repeat, it's my favorite taco in the world. I love eating with you, man. You make it so much more enjoyable. It's in my top rank 10. Really? Absolutely, yes. Top 10 of intestine tacos. It's, exactly. That's a very specific top 10 list. It's also in my top 10. It's also my first one. Here's the thing. It's so good. Very good. I gotta say, very happy. Very happy. I love this. I love this. This is so good. It's is so good. It's juicy. It's juicy. It's chewy. It's chewy. It's everything you want in a mother freaking taco. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few miles away, another 64-year-old veteran of the taco trade, Taco El Paisa. Here, they serve up to 500 guests a day, 362 days per year, every year. But what sets them apart isn't just their disdain for off time, but rather this. This is a local cactus species. Also, it's going into my taco, somehow. But first, tacos de longaniza. Start by cutting longanisas, or Mexican sausage. It's a minced pork sausage, similar to chorizo. Next, relocate the longanisas from the chopping board to this wok and let the oil take over. Once it's crispy, it gets the chop. Pile it high with onions, herbs, and salsa. 
Why is it so red? It's meat of pork mm -hmm. with spices. So the spices make it red? Yes, 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 yes. You know the drill. Let's hit it with some lime. The third double tortilla of the day is still warm, soft, and flexible. It's crispy. Hmm? It's crispy. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely delicious. The texture in here is awesome. It's very spicy. I need a glass of milk after this. It's not spicy like painful. It's spicy like I have acid reflux now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This longanisa is so good. It's absolutely like a texture sensation. It's so crunchy as you're eating it, but it's also rich and juicy at the same time. Mm -hmm. All of them. Seven down, one to go. Our final taco of the day. This is something I've never seen before. This is a cactus. It's known as Nepales. Nepales are the most commonly eaten cactus species in Mexico. Even several thousand spiky thorns could not stop people from trying this next dish. Once the cactus is shaved, it boils in a bubbling meat juice. They add raw beef and cactus, then season simply with salt, pepper, and lime. This beautiful beef, they're getting soft, and then this can go in the taco with the beef. It's a cactus beef taco. After just a few minutes, the cactus and the beef are ready for me to order in perfect eighth grade Spanish. Tres Nepales taco, por favor. Boom, he takes out some beef, he's chopping it up into little pieces, it's super soft, but then we have the cactus right here. He kind of jewels a cactus, all that goes into one tortilla. Be so quick. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of onion. Look at this plato. Cactus, beef, tacos, made in about 10 seconds. First, we have a nice drink. Now, I was feeling a little bit heavy. I asked for a tea. They did not have one. What they have here is called meat juice. Basically, everything this was boiling in, the cactus, the beef, this is the broth that was bubbling in. Cheers. Cheers. Be careful, Lee. It's very hot. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's a little cactusy. Uh-huh. Oh, it's warming me up from the inside. This is nice on a cool night in Mexico City here. Check this. I took my taco and I... Shush, really? We can put it in meat juice? By, by fat people, by fat mentality. It's great. Try it. The cactus is in there, all the spices. And enjoy it. Let's take it away. Whoa, that is wild. That's like a French onion soup. You just dip it in there. It makes a tortilla even more soggy. It absorbs all those meat juices. Do people do that or just you? Just the fat people. Okay, just um, us. Give it another little bit of a dip. <sighs> Ooh, <laughs> juicy. Hey, the taco's got a drink too. There's so much beef flavor here, but it's also full of cactus. And the cactus is also slimy. Yes, the nopal bring another flavor at the taco beef. I'm gonna give it a dip, I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna drink even more after that. Huh? It's another flavor with the two combination. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's spicy, it's salty, savory. There's so many different flavors going on. It's powerful, it's like fireworks. My heart rate's going up. <sighs> I think I'm dying. What do you think about this taco? I love it. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A peace. Did you like I showed you my taco in your cam? We have another camera over here. This okay. is the taco cam. The taco cam is always searching for the taco. Automatic taco detection. Do you prefer food or alcohol? Ah, uh, the two. Hold is on. this one for me? No. No. But Vladimir. <laughs> I don't. Oh, like this, like this, like this, like this. Cool. And now we're married. Let's keep this train. Let's let's uh, keep. Let's, let's. There's a train. Let's go. Sonny, what are your favorite taco in bed? You know what? I have to go intestine. The longanisa is maybe next, and then after that the brisket. But I like the intestine. I like it's so unique and chewy and greasy. What was your favorite taco? All the tacos is my favorite. The taco is my favorite food. Boom! So that is the end of our video. I want to say a huge thank you to you, my sir. Vladimir. You can see Vladimir right here, his YouTube channel. Go there, subscribe, and see his fun food adventures here in Mexico and beyond. Guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time. A pass. Pass. Okay. All right, let's go. Should we get a dessert taco? Do they have dessert tacos with ice cream inside?